Hey everybody, so today I'm going to present our work on learning hybrid control barrier functions from data. I'm Lars Lindemann, I'm a postdoc at Penn, and this is joint work together with three brilliant students, Hyman Hu from Princeton University, Alex Rube and Han Wen Sang from Penn, and Professor Dimas de Marogonas from KDH, Stephen Tu from Google Brain, and Professor Nikolai Matny from Penn. So as a motivation of our work, let's have a look at the three shown systems that are all safety critical. While these systems may seem very different at first, I'm going to argue that they share some key properties that lets us reason about them roughly in the same way. First of all, these examples are all really data rich in the sense that it's easy to get access to data exhibiting safe behavior. Second, the dynamics of these systems are inherently nonlinear and hybrid. In other words, these systems are described by both continuous flows as well as discrete jumps in their states. Such models are important and can capture contact dynamics as well as bipedal locomotion and semantic logic in self-driving cars as shown in the above examples. Third, and this is a very important property, in most of the cases we have a pretty good idea of how to accurately model or identify the system dynamics. So in this work, we actually use this to our advantage and make use of the explicit system knowledge to learn provably safe control laws instead of resorting to the tedious task of analytically finding such control laws, which is often simply impossible for complex system dynamics. The hybrid systems formalism that we use here in this work is the so-called flow jump formalism. In this formalism, the flow set C here describes the part of the state space in which the state of the system is allowed to evolve continuously. This means that the state flows according to this ordinary differential equation here that is described by the flow map F. Conversely, the jump set D describes the part of the state space in which the state of the system is allowed to change discontinuously. This means that the state may jump and follow the difference equation here that is described by the jump map G. Let's look at a sample trajectory for an example where the flow set C and the jump set D are overlapping. <clears throat> the initial position is within the flow set C so that we're initially only allowed to flow until we are in the region where C and D overlap so that we can either flow or jump. In this case, we take a jump into the flow set from where we again continue flowing. And this is then how the uh, system trajectory may continue after that. The standard example of a hybrid system is the bouncing ball example. Here in particular, the continuous evolution of the state when the ball is in the air or right after the impact with the floor is described by this ordinary differential equation that is in particular affected by the gravity. Whenever the ball hits the floor, this discontinuous change in the velocity is described by this odd uh, difference equation that is in particular affected by the floor damping here. We can also have a look at the face portrait where the jump set D over here exactly describes this portion of the state space where the ball hits the floor. So in particular, when the position is zero and the velocity is negative. For an initial position, um, that has a positive velocity and has a position of zero, so right after the impact um, of the ball with the floor, we can have a sample trajectory as this. So we flow until we hit the floor again, then we take a jump in which we lose some energy due to the floor damping, then we flow again until we hit the floor, and then we may take a jump again. In this paper, and in order to learn safe control laws, we assume that we know the hybrid system dynamics over here. What we also assume is that we're given a set of safe expert trajectories during flows and during jumps. What we then do is we feed these two things into an optimization-based approach from which our goal is to learn a safe set calligraphic C that satisfies two properties. First of all, it is safe. So it under approximates the expert behavior. Here, the red set is the set calligraphic C. And second of all, um, the set is controlled forward invariant. So we can always select control inputs that will keep us within the set. The contributions of this paper are threefold. First, we present hybrid control barrier functions as a means of synthesizing safe control laws. Second, 
we learn such hybrid control barrier functions from data. And third, we validate our findings on a compass gatewalker. Let us next introduce the notion of hybrid control barrier functions as a means to synthesize safe control laws. First, consider a function h here that defines the safe set calligraphic C via its zero superlevel set. This set here is again depicted in red uh, over here. Furthermore, let us uh, introduce two sets, calligraphic DC and calligraphic DD, that together, so their union, fully cover calligraphic C over here. Note also that these sets have to be included within the flow and jump set C and D over here. Our goal now is to always stay inside the safe set calligraphic C by a suitable control action UC and UD. The natural question now is how do we actually obtain such control actions? How can we define them? And that's why we introduced the notion of a valid hybrid control barrier function. In particular, the function H is said to be such a valid hybrid control barrier function on these two sets calligraphic DC and DD if there exists a local Lipschitz continuous extended class K function alpha, so a function that is strictly increasing and zero and zero, if these two conditions here hold. We refer to these two conditions as the flow and the jump constraint, respectively. The flow constraint over here says nothing more that whenever we're on the boundary of the safe set calligraphic C, we can either stay on the boundary or we can be pushed inside. So we always remain in this set. The jump constraint here says nothing, nothing more that whenever we take a jump, we will again jump inside the safe set. Okay, so far we have discussed how a given hybrid control barrier function renders a safe set calligraphic C forward invariant and hence safe. This hybrid control barrier function theory is indeed neat, but triggers the question on how do we actually find such a valid hybrid control barrier function? In fact, this question is a very fundamental question as it can similarly be asked as to how can we find control Lyapunov functions for guaranteeing stability? We here want to learn them from safe flow and jump expert data. So let us now talk a bit about two types of data that we consider here, namely safe and unsafe data points. So what we already assumed is that we're given a set of safe expert data points during flows and during jumps over here. So what we do in the first step is around each data point during flows that is considered safe, we will put an epsilon ball of size epsilon C around them. And then we take the union over all of these data points to obtain the set calligraphic DC. And we call this set the set of expert data points during flows. Similarly, we pick all the data points that are safe during jumps. We put again a ball around it of size epsilon d, and we take the union over all of them to then denote this set by calligraphic dd. And again, this set then here denotes the set of expert data points during jumps. What we additionally do is that we form a golden ring here in this figure around the set of expert data points during flows and jumps. And we refer to this set as the set of unsafe data points. So we just define the set over here and then we can use simple methods such as gridding to pick data points, a finite number of data points in there. Let us next talk about the optimization problem that we propose in the paper in order to learn such valid hybrid control barrier functions from data. In particular, the optimization problem contains several constraints that I'm going to explain now briefly. First of all, we would like to push H to be negative for all unsafe data points. And by unsafe data points, I mean in particular this golden ring over here that is put around the set of safe data points during flows and jumps. And we would in particular like to do this with some slack over here. We would also like to push H to be positive for all safe data points. So for all data points that are considered safe during flows and jumps. And we again do this with some slack. Similarly, we would like to enforce the flow constraint for all safe data points during flows, here again with some slack. And we would like to enforce the jump constraint for all safe jump data points, again with some slack. 
Additionally, we would also like to enforce some Lipschitz constraint on the function h and on the function qc and qd that here define the flow and jump constraint. And what we then show in the paper is that a feasible solution to this optimization problem will result in a valid hybrid control barrier function if two conditions hold. So first of all, if the data points are dense enough, and second of all, if the learned function h is smooth enough. We quantify these conditions in terms of the slack variables that we have included in the optimization problem and the Lipschitz constants of the function h, qc, and qd, as well as the denseness of the safe and unsafe data points. In the paper, we have presented two case studies. The first case study is the bouncing ball that is additionally equipped with control inputs during flows and jumps. In particular, the control input that has been added uh, for the flows can be thought of as a controllable wind resistance, while the discrete input that has been added can be thought of as a controllable floor damping. The safety specification that we impose here is that we would like to have the absolute value of the velocity to be always smaller than two. We have generated some training data from an analytic uh, control barrier function that we have then used to train a two hidden layer fully connected neural network that describes our hybrid control barrier function that is plotted over here. And from where you can see that the zero super level set is contained within the safe set. This is exactly what we want. We have then used this hybrid control barrier function on top of a nominal controller that tries to track the blue reference trajectory over here. And as you can see, the reference trajectory does not comply with the safety set that is described by the dashed red lines. So what the control barrier function does is it filters the nominal controller, keeps the system safe, and tries to track the reference trajectory as good as possible. The second case study in the paper is a compass gate walker that is here torque controlled in the hip joint as well as in the ankle of the foot. What we have done here is we have taken an energy-based controller from the literature in order to collect safe data points. Based on this data, we have then trained a two hidden layer fully connected neural network. What we can then observe is that without any control action, the walker will simply be unsafe and fall, while our learned hybrid control barrier function controller will let the walker walk safely what I'd also like to show are the following two plots. Here in the right, you can see the energy-based controller that has been used in order to collect the expert data from which the hybrid control barrier function was learned. The controller that is based on this hybrid control barrier function is shown in the left. So in both of these plots, the uh, dots over here uh, indicate initial conditions of the hybrid walker. If the dot is blue, the trajectory from this initial condition resulted in a safe walk, while red initial or red dots indicate initial conditions that resulted in unsafe walks, so where the walker would fall. The first thing to observe here is that the zero level set, which is given over here of the hybrid control barrier function, also shown in the right plot over here, roughly under approximates the safe expert behavior. And this is to be expected. Also note that the initial positions within the safe region, which is here the set calligraphic C, are a result in safe walks. The second thing that we can observe is basically that there are regions in the state space that are outside the safe set that will also result in safe walks, as shown over here, where, for instance, the energy-based controller fails. So what we suspect here is that the attractivity properties of the set calligraphic C will lead to trajectories starting outside the safe set to eventually enter the safe set. In summary, we have proposed a method to learn safe control laws for hybrid systems from expert data when two conditions hold. So first of all, we need that the expert data points are dense enough and the learned hybrid control barrier function is smooth enough. Lastly, I would like to uh, link our GitHub here where you can find the full article, as well as the code that can be used to reproduce the case studies that we have presented in the paper and here in the talk.